announcement to all passengers before we take off to this flight uh, subscribe to this channel <laughs> okay now let's go of a pilot every single time I travel because we get to meet their hostesses but we never really get to meet the pilots and today I am so honored to be in Ethiopian Aviation University and I'm going to go inside uh, to the classrooms of the pilots the future pilots and get to know them and also see how their trainings go so let's go meet them <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Hello class! The students are, are selected by the highest scores from universities across the country. After they come to the university, they are provided with world-class education in practice and theory. I studied uh, software engineering. Wow! Uh, it, was, it was an awesome field. It was a really difficult decision because, you know, that, that in itself is an, an awesome field. This is an awesome field. But my heart was like, kind of leaned towards the aviation industry and so Yeah, I'm here. Wow. And you, what did you study? Life physics. Huh? Life physics. 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 She's a scientist, man. Yeah? Well, I'm surrounded by scientists. This is what I mean. They're not just cute. They're like super smart. Yeah. Like, and you, what did you study? Civil engineering. Civil engineering. Oh, my goodness. And you? So we have two civil engineers. Electrical engineers. Physicists, right? I see you in the practice room. Bye bye, excuse me for interrupting your class. <laughs> and this university is not only given a world class education, but also a very good discipline. When you are a junior and a first year student, you get only one badge. A second year student gets two lines of a badge, and the third year students get three lines. Uh, we are here, senior citizens. Sign of respect. Yeah. Basically, the juniors give way to the seniors. So, like, for example, if I am walking yeah. down the stairs and you know they are coming up the stairs, like no give way. They kind of like intend to show respect to their seniors. It's like the culture of this this company. Yeah. We have such such kind of small um, practices. Basically, they are not that significant, but it kind of shows respect. That you need to show respect to your seniors. So generally, in our culture, that if you are a senior citizen or if you're an elder person, whoever is a young person, if they're sitting, they will get up for your to give you their seat. Or if you are coming, they will get out of the way to show you respect. So they do that the same way here in the academy. If you are a senior a student, the juniors will move out the way or give you a first hand, you know, out of respect. Again, yeah. It's wet. It's wet. Yes. You don't just find this like you know, you like this, it. huh? You gotta earn it. The first one is the combination of the three. Yeah. The first one is the major, no? It's the hardest one. Okay. Then the second, uh, you get to relax a little bit. The third. Yeah. Because uh, you need to respect. Yeah, you already respected because you worked hard for it. Yeah, I'm very experienced. Yeah. Don't ever look at them lightly. Okay? Yeah. Don't ever look at them lightly. Yes. But um, but is there like a fourth one or the? Yeah, there's the fourth one. We need to the cup. Okay. And it changes color too. It becomes golden. Golden. It's called golden. You will be white. No, even the uniforms change. Huh? Even the uniforms, they will be green. Green. Yeah. Oh. When we finish in this academy and start flying to come yeah. flight, we'll change this uniform, and the flight will be golden, but still green. Uh, the uniforms will be green, as you know. Yeah. And as you said, like for the next three years, the next six years, we're going to maintain the uniform the same flag. Then after that, when we become captains, we get the four. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow! 
I can't wait for you guys to be captain. And I'll be like, my friends are captain. <laughs> Six years later. Six years later. Yeah. In this room that you see, this beautiful room, and you can see here also an Olympic sized uh, swimming pool. This is where uh, they train. This is a cabin cruise. They also have like a different simulators so they can teach them properly and I am also uh, wearing a uniform so I can feel like I'm part of this university it feels amazing when you're a cabin crew you have to do a training of a you have to be able to swim so that training is very important because if something happens the and you know like they crash they have to be able to save you and like all of these rooms that you see they are all classrooms where they teach uh, different types of uh, classes such as their marketing um, the pilot classes their uh, cabin crews leadership and all types of like they give about eight uh, subjects or something like this and all the the subjects that they give the classes are given here and also of course they have other uh, parts where they give like practice uh, classes and here are some uh, classmates that i just made for today yeah hello friends hey how are you doing <laughs> look how handsome they are in ethiopia we don't only have educated people but a very handsome very handsome people like this huh? mm -hmm. <laughs> so where are we going now we're going to the simulator uh-huh so we're going to show see you the small aircraft it's called the diamond simulator uh-huh and it's the aircraft that we use to train when we begin as pilots so we try to see like some of the basic maneuvers we try to do as as busy pilot trainers and then um, you know, Amazing. The, the different Ooh, places. I can't wait. <laughs> I never get to see the pilots because they are, you know, like in that room and you kind the of Yeah, you know the, okay. the what is it called? The cockpit. The the cockpit. Yeah. And you never get to see them. I never get to see them. I mean I see them walk uh, in the you know. Yeah. But today they my friends. Get the chance, huh? oh, they're my friends today. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, they're not your friends. My friends. <laughs> yes. Yeah, super. So they're gonna take me to the other uh, the simulation. The simulator. Simulator. Simula it simulates the real flights. That's why it's called the simulator. Oh, okay. It tries to simulate what we do on the real aircraft. We call it a simula uh, simulator. Simulator. Nice. So like basically, after we finish the theory class that we just saw, yeah, we go to the simulator so that. You know, we train the same exact train, the exact train that we do on the aircraft. Oh, it's basically, the idea is just to, to conserve the fuel and to, just to be safe enough uh, to train on, on the ground and doing it on the flight first. So, basically, that's oh. the idea. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here. Nice. You know, like as Ethiopians, we always see like uh, the cabin crew and the pilots because, you know, Ethiopia is uh, very known for. Uh, this aviation academy which is a university now yeah. prepare yourself because you can come here and apply i don't really know the details that much but i'll put the link of their website yeah. down below in the description so you can go and check out more information about it how long you've been studying here um it's almost three years like next week's gonna be three years yeah but normally it's two years right it's, uh, it was actually a year and a half but these days due to corona corona yeah because of yeah corona. it's kind of taking us more than we expected this three years now yeah. i expect six months more so three years and six months these days wow Wow, but it's okay because you get to uh, hang out more with your friends. Of course, it's, you know, it's such an awesome environment. You know, uh, right. it doesn't feel like three years. You know, I know it goes yeah, by so fast, yeah, right? It, it goes so fast and it's comfortable, really. You know, we we study in here, we relax. You know, everything is comfortable in here, more or less. So, it's really a relaxed environment. So, it doesn't feel like three years. Right, it goes yeah. away very fast. <laughs> I know. Oh, ho ho ho! Come on, buddy, look at this. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here. Come, come, come on, come on over, come on over, come on over. I have a question. Okay. So, um, when you, like, you come uh, straight from the university, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you got recruited from the university? Yeah. You also? Yes. But does it, uh, is it like from each university or only from Addis Ababa University? It's from each university. So, there are some recruiting people who are sent to different universities on different regions. Yeah. And you know, they recruit people based upon some sorts of criteria. And those who pass those criteria will come here and come for further inspections and then 
afterwards. Yeah, if you're lucky enough. Well, I have She's passed the enough. I have passed the criteria just for today. Right, yeah, and I get to hang out with these beautiful boys. Ah, beautiful, smart, intelligent. Oh my God, everything, everything. What are you showing me now? Uh, this is basically, as it says, the pilot training school. This whole building. Oh my God. So let's come and see. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. It's okay. You can come study in here and hang out with them. But you know, I didn't have to. I can just come and hang out with them for today. She had a shortcut. Oh yeah, I had a shortcut. Ta -da -da. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, let me show you. This is the pilot training school. Wow. So you guys hang out here a lot. We hang out here. <laughs> and study here. Yeah, so I normally just hang out because I finished studying. So <laughs> <laughs> you hang out a lot, right? So I hang out a lot. Sir. <laughs> but here's a lot of studying happening, yeah. right? So basically the ground compartment, the ground floor is completely dedicated to the pilot training school. The floors starting from the first, second and third are dedicated to the marketing class and yeah. the technicians, uh, the uh, maintenance technicians class. So that's how it is. This side is dedicated to the simulators. We'll, we'll see them a bit later. And this side is dedicated to the theoretical classes. So oh, yay! So like some of the schedules are stated in here. We come in here for relaxation and then we use the breaks like in the you know, breakfast breaks, you know, afternoon breaks. We come in here, we just hang out and talk and we get back. Like we get to for 15, 20 minute breaks every kind of class. Nice. Yeah. So it's like uh, we're already in the, you get the training from here. It's as if you are, you know, when you fly, you have the schedule like this and yeah. here you have the classes like this. Right? Yeah, basically this is more of a generic uh, table for like some uh, schedule. Yeah, be for the because school. I mean in other schools you don't see it, only here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's, it's not a, common. Yeah, it's, it's like an airport. It's, <laughs> it's like, like an airport. airport. It's yeah. like an airport. It's in your schedule. So yeah, I know, it was yeah. so cool. But for us, it's like the schedule for the classes. I think this is for the uh, technicians. The, it says the instructors, the classroom, the time, the date. And the exams, and the right? Some yeah. exams. I think it's exams, yeah. yeah. So, all online exams, human fact yeah. reference. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, which way do we go now? After class. The second one is kind of more focused on the discipline, yeah. on on certain behaviors that the pilots need to have so that we can fly the aircraft appropriately. This includes, for example, um, teamwork. So teamwork means you you have to be able to use your, the resources that you have, the cabin crew, the fellow pilots that you have. This is a very crucial skill that you need to have if you're going to be able to efficiently fly an aircraft. Uh, additionally, you need to be able to handle stress. Yeah. Um, basically, this is not, you know taught in, in its own separate way, but it's basically part of the whole training. They teach you how to be able to handle stressful situations or make decisions in a very stressful conditions. And that's kind of a difficult thing to, to be uh, able to do because, you know, you already have a lot of things to do. Flying the aircraft in itself is, is, is in itself, you know, very uh, high, high workload uh, task. And, and the addition of that, if you need to be able to make decisions on a very stressful situation that basically requires a bit more of your character. And so this is one of the things that it additionally trains you to do. Oh. And you, what do you think? Is this like, what part of the class is more difficult for you? Or you think is more, needs more attention? I think he said it all. I think uh, that's the part, the skill part, you learn it uh, quickly. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone is uh, capable of that. Uh, the, the second one, uh, you, 
you need to make a good decision in a good time. You, know, you don't need to be late to make decisions yeah. in a bad situations. Uh, may God forbid. Uh, so that's what we are uh, being prepared for, you know, uh, on our uh, whole carry. If everything is fine, the, nowadays the aircrafts are very modern uh, to the extent that uh, they can't even land themselves. The automation has reached that level. Uh, but, you know, you are there for, for the emergency or the, for bad uh, incidents or uh, accidents or emergencies. So that's what uh, we are getting uh, prepared for. Yeah, so it's not only it's not only flying it, but they're responsible for lots of people's life. And there is no rules and regulation because there's not a country, so they are like the governors. So they have to take responsibilities and they have to take this, they have to make lots of decisions. So it kind of falls on them. That's why they train them here, not just to fly the aircraft, but also how to be responsible and how to handle situations. So. Passenger, by the way, not a color monitor. <laughs> and here are the guys who are like, you know, in the back helping out. This is so cool. In the back, on the, this operation. This uh, yeah, operation. exactly. The uh, so there's an art to getting out of this situation. Uh, and uh, you're what? mastering it, by the way. Huh? You're mastering it. I'm mastering wow, it right now. Course. I'm back to this one. Uh, what an exit! What an exit! What an exit, man! Yes, it's sexy, man. This was cool. But so this is what we just flew. It's the same size as the the real uh, plane, which is like a small plane like this. But hopefully, I get to go on the big plane. Is to monitor him while he's flying, right? While he's flying. I will be checking his uh, fuel quantity, his aircraft status, his positions, uh, his, where where he's about. I'll be controlling the, everything and uh, what he has been doing. So it's like you are the the man in the in the ground. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. Like, uh, air traffic controls. Air traffic, air traffic control. Traffic control. Yeah, air, okay. Yeah. Uh, ground controls, air, uh, tower, and area controls are there. Also, uh, they will be monitoring the aircraft uh, by watching the radar and its status where, where it is about and everything of the flight will be controlling. So it will be like the same way that when you fly, this is what happens yeah, as well. This is what happens. So do, do you also give like here in the school, uh, do they also give trainings for that? Yeah, yeah. there's also a training. Uh, also, there's a simulator over there for uh, next room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, second room. Uh, there is uh, for a training for air traffic controls also. Like wow. Ethiopian Airlines owns seven types of aircrafts and in this university they own eight uh, simulators that simulates exactly the same type of aircraft wow. that the airline owns. So this is actually what it looks like? Oh my god. I feel so special. Thank you very much for having me here. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, speed, speed. Four hundred.
<laughs> Super! That was amazing! That was my first uh, uh, flight, uh, whatever thing, flight piloting thing I did today. And then, here's everybody! <laughs> party that was before before and uh, yeah they used to use it for uh, uh, merge. like what is merja you know like when you go on the farm and they want to put like this pesticide thingy like shh, shh, shh. well they used to use it this uh, fantastic plane right here <laughs> yeah it's so cute <laughs> i feel like i'm in um, like a tom cruise movie <laughs> top gun a top gun or something like this yes <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh, I love this. I love this. Look at this. Oh, this is a picture right here. Come on over, Captain. Huh? Oh, look at this. Best mom, best mom, best mom. Wow, we look so beautiful. And I want to thank all of these beautiful, amazing boys. Thank you guys for being with me all day and for showing me around your academy slash university because now it's a university yeah they're all university students so thank you so much you guys You're i know i've welcome. been all day with you like yeah 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 but <laughs> <laughs> you have been sweethearts now we're gonna go for lunch yeah. so let's buy go. me lunch let's go. Let's go. Let's go. you buy me lunch of course i will oh. well i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today like share comment and subscribe, subscribe. Bye. Thank you to everybody in the background. Thank you. <laughs> I have uh, I have crashed this flight multiple times, but thanks to them, and thanks to the fact that we're not in a real airplane, <laughs> that we are safe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye.